the next step in money evolution. Hey everyone, on this video of Proof of Make, we are going to be talking about MakerDAO and its DAI stablecoin. The Maker Decentralized Autonomous Organization is an entire ecosystem of products and smart contracts allowing for decentralized collateralization of a stablecoin, not by fiat, but by crypto. Now, we're gonna take a look with our CEO, Mike DeShazer. All right, let's take a look at MakerDAO with Mike. All right, now we're talking about Maker and MakerDAO. Okay, I'm, I'm really interested in this project. The first thing I wanna say is after looking at more and more of Maker, DAI, which is their stable coin, uh, is, that's backed by USD, right? Uh, no, actually. We're going to talk about that. It's actually backed by crypto. Oh, or the, it's pegged to USD. It's pegged to USD, yes. Got it. So it's, it's supposed to be it's a simile for US dollars, but it is not backed by US dollars. So it's not a tether. It, it's not like these guys have some locker someplace. Where they're but that's not. You, so you're saying that's not Maker. That's the Maker. That's their DAI. That's their DAI coin. How many coins do these guys have? These guys have like, they have. I know they have a Maker coin. Yeah. Um, to, to run this thing, there's a there's two main coins you need to know about, which is Maker, MKR, and DAI coin, which is DAI. Maker coin was their ICO token, the thing that they sold to raise to build this thing, and it's also the governance token. So Maker, well, you've probably heard the name Maker DAO before. And yes. so yeah. So the DAO is this entire system altogether. The the stable coin, the CDP, which is the backing contracts, the governance Wait, platform. What does CDP mean? CDP means collateral debt. So this is like uh, what 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 wrecked the mortgage industry. Uh, it's not quite. A, it's not a default swap. Got it. Um, Got it. Yeah, it's packaged instead by a much more reliable underlying thing, which is Ethereum. Got it. Yeah, so it's collateralized. Yeah, that's not volatile at all. No, no, not at all. So, so it's much. <laughs> <laughs> In summary, the the die, die is very simple. Die is something I think everybody who's ever been on. Um, an exchange at this point has seen DAI either list or even use DAI if they've been on the decentralized exchange side of things. So, this is, so this is their main product, though. Uh, this is the product that customers are going to touch now. Okay. Exactly, and there's one thing I want to say is that after spending more time with this, the the core maker product is definitely DAI, absolutely. However, all the interaction points and the really sophisticated kind of tooling that's behind it is not meant for users, not for everyday users at all. But that's what makes it pegged to a dollar. It's this complicated Right, all this complicated stuff. stuff. The DAO itself is what causes the peg to actually exist. Okay. Yeah. And that comes down to these things called CDPs. Okay. So this is where, as an advanced user, the activity that these guys are performing is what keeps it pegged to the dollar. Exactly. A CDP is a smart contract, but it's a smart contract that represents a collateralized interest. So what you do is you basically take Ethereum, you use it to spin up a CDP contract and then you place Ethereum inside of it. Okay. That Ethereum acts as collateral that then issues you DAI, which is USD. Okay, so look, can, I, can I repeat that because that's a little complicated. Yeah. So you're saying that I I deposit, like you have right now, 0.1 ETH, yes. about 20 bucks. And that 20 bucks now turns into 10 DAI, yes. which is half of what I deposited. Right, and anything above that, is goes towards the collateral. Got it. So what? So I put in twenty dollars, but I only get ten dollars back. Why is that? That's to, in order to create and to secure your CDP. So think of this sort of like a leveraged loan that you would get on Bitmex, where you have a certain amount that you put in as collateral, mm -hmm. and then if the price of F moves too high, oh, or because your collateral because your collateralization exactly. ratio is one ninety nine. Did you set this, or is this something that's preset? Uh, I set this myself. So when I, the, the initial amount I put in, I then get to say how much die do I want to take out of the CDP. And as you can see, I can put more back or I can generate more from the collateral. So this allows you to use leverage. This allows me to use leverage. It's not pure leverage. It's not like you're taking a loan from an exchange. You're taking a loan from a collateralized pooling, which is essentially ensuring that your die peg stays pegged to Ethereum and therefore the US dollar. Okay. So... What this is doing is buying me insurance against the total collapse of Ethereum. So DAI will always be one dollar. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, yeah. so what else? What else is here? So um, you were saying about Maker Tools. So you can, as you can imagine, this entire backend is very complex. There's a lot of different moving pieces. So this is Maker Tools. This is their data side that lets you look at kind of how the entire thing is working. So in the backend, the wrapped ETH is being used, DAI is being used, Maker is being used, and this thing called PETH is being used. So there's a lot of token interactions occurring. The DAI is actually way more complex than simply the CDPs. 
you actually have a baskets, many baskets behind it. So essentially, if the Ethereum it's all to protect against an Ethereum price plunge. So if the price plunges, they can dilute the PETH by injecting more PETH that they get from um, liquidating people's CDPs Got it. in order to dilute and increase the amount of pair wow, token against the Ethereum. And then PETH will then, in a structured way, convert to WETH, which then can easily be converted back to ETH, and you maintain the peg. So one basket has to collapse and can still be protected by the previous basket behind it, which can then uh, eventually be protected by the basket behind it. And the front line of that thing are the collateralized debt. That's really cool. Okay. Yeah. Now, you, up here it says, uh, I saw 200, 286%. So it's saying that if Ethereum drops on the inverse of that, um, like, I guess that would be, you know, like, 70 percent or something then we would have a, a, an issue because th this lot collateral they have is 203 million dollars okay yeah so interesting so you also said there was uh, a uh, maker governance yes uh, so th that's this is where that's the, and this is where the M okay this is where the other token comes into play okay which is mkr okay. so the mkr is something you stake and then you get to vote on things and you can see the last vote was on uh, finished on september 16th 2018 this year um, people staked 47 million or 47,600 MKR, um, which was 99.86, went for yes to do the five core principles of the maker governance philosophy. Now, it doesn't seem to be completely enforced by code. If you actually look at this contract, you have a bunch of empty like things. It's kind of a, a symbolic gesture. So it's like a sub like subjective, subjective. Like, not an objective. Yeah, it's, it's not like not the original big money over right. It's not like the original DAO where all of a sudden we're fine, we're financing something because the vote went through. It's kind of it's just as much kind of symbolic as is anything else, and it's kind of they're saying this is the constitution of what we want to do. Here, here's how this is going to be governed as a DAO, and then the decision has to actually go through, and maker has to adhere to that. So now in the future, are they planning to kind of make it more like objective stuff, so like actually change how the DAO works, like maybe the leverage amounts or other other things like that? Is that yeah, kind of plan? in fact, they actually talk about that in here. Ah, so absolutely. as they move forward, they're going to be decentralizing more. They call gradual decentralization, as and they're going to continue to. Eventually, Maker doesn't want to have anything to do with this entire system. The entire system just gets governed by itself. So they they see themselves as kind of the guy just spinning the flywheel, and it's going to run on its own. That's phenomenal! Wow. So that's 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 really cool. So so we have Maker, uh, the guys who made this. Um, they have their Maker Tools platform, which is the the data product yep. um, as far as Mac watching everything that's happening across the maker each exactly. with path, um, dot all this. And then you have the CDP portal, which is actually where people are actually getting leverage, engaging in more sophisticated activity that actually supports who are, who are getting, who are taking leverage positions. They're helping, yeah, they're creating, they're, they're creating the collateral for the die token to make sure that peg stays in place. Got it. And then the yeah. governance, which uh, essentially allows people to vote as this thing evolves and actually becomes fully like decentralized right. as far as how it even operates. And for it to actually become a DAO. That is awesome. It's really cool. DAI is really cool. It's being used everywhere. In fact, I think we're using it on our exchange. Okay. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, I'm, I am I mean, I, I don't think, Maker are kind of like the good guys of the space in some ways. Uh, very skilled, very cool. Yeah. I'm very excited to see where this goes and uh, I'm really excited to get more into CDPs. And maybe we'll, in a future video, we'll actually make a video specifically about the CDP. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.